Who do you think that is? It's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is Peppa's cousin. No, that's you as a baby Peppa. Baby Peppa. <laughs> Somebody sounds like they're having fun. Look, Daddy, that's a picture of me as a baby. I remember it well. It was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? When you were little, we moved into this house. We brought all our things on top of our car. Mummy Pig put some pictures up. Daddy Pig put up a shelf. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. <laughs> Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh, what did we do? <laughs> You cried, <coughs> you burped, <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> and where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <laughs> Yes, you were in my tummy, George. If you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name. Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can I play with Peppa and George in the garden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chloe, is it nice having a little baby brother? Yes. Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know. George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. George, if you pretend to be a baby, I promise to be nice to you forever and ever. George is thinking. And you can play with all my toys. George is thinking more. And when we get home, you can play with all my toys. <laughs> George has decided. Goo, goo, goo. What a sweet baby piggy. <laughs> Here are Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit and Zoe Zebra. Hello. <laughs> Why is George in that doll's pram? It's not George. It's a baby piggy. Goo, goo. But it is George. George is a pretend baby piggy. Ah! Is this a girl or a boy? It's a girl. No. George does not want to be a girl, baby. OK, it's a boy. <laughs> I've got some cookies. Would the baby piggy like one? Oh, no. It can't eat cookies. <laughs> George likes cookies. Maybe it can have one cookie. <laughs> goo goo! It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no. We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. <laughs> 
everyone is back in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Pepper, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Pepper. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. Oh. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Stop! Scary dinosaur. <laughs> lunch time, everyone. Coming. After lunch, we'll do a puppet show. Hooray! <laughs> Auntie Pig has made spaghetti for lunch. This spaghetti is delicious. <laughs> Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers. Alike in every way. What do you mean? <laughs> we are completely different. <laughs> Pepper, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic. Call us when you're ready. <laughs> See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more too? <laughs> <laughs> The puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. Ah, it's a dinosaur. A scary dinosaur. Eek. Oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Oh, ho! Oh, I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep and snore like you always do? What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you shouldn't have said those things about Uncle Pig. I don't think Daddy Pig or Uncle Pig can hear you. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. You can tell they are brothers. <laughs> hey, what happened? Huh? Has the puppet show started yet? <laughs> Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow! wow. Let me try. Make a hole in the stem. Stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the daisy queen, Peppa. Yes! 
I am the Daisy Queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. Roar! <laughs> George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen. And this is George the Lion. Roar! Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh, I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> Peppa, we'll call you Pe. Oh, and this is George. We'll call you J. Oh. You didn't tell us you had baby cousins, Chloe. I'm not a baby, but you're both little. I'm a big girl. George is little. Uh, why don't we all play a game? Yes, let's play hide and seek. We don't play baby games anymore. We're almost grown up. What about the yes-no game? What's the yes-no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <laughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knot, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Matter, George. <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this, with both hands. Now, stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now, push off with the other foot, like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Peppa, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me. See you later, Mummy Pig. See you later. Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. 
not so fast. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Daddy can't keep up. <laughs> Wait for me. Pepper and George have arrived at playground. Bye-bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Vroom, vroom. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. Always look where you're going. Then... <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is here. Oh, yes. Everyone into the ambulance. <laughs> Don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. <laughs> It is Mr. Bull's brother. Hello. Sorry about the noise, but we're building a road and need to knock this building down. Dr. Hamster's home for sick pets is in the way of the new road. Hello, everyone. Mr. Rabbit is the road building inspector. Hmm, things are looking a bit slack, Mr. Bull. Why have you stopped working? This building is in the way. I said they should build a tunnel. Yes, a tunnel would do. Mm, yes, but that would be very hard to do. Are your machines not strong enough to make a tunnel? What? Our machines are the strongest machines in the world. We can build a tunnel. I'll dig from this side, I'll dig from the other side, and we'll meet in the middle. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his brother are digging a tunnel through the hill. The tunnel has been dug. And the new road is finished. Hooray! Congratulations, Mr. Bull. You did a fine job. Yes. Now all those busy people can get to where they're going more quickly. The new road is so nice and straight that lots and lots of cars have come to use it. They're not going that quickly. Hmm. There are more cars using this road than we had planned for. We'll need a bigger road. So, what are you going to do? 
Only one thing we can do, Pepper. We'll dig up the road! <laughs> Pepper and George love it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh. Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <coughs> it is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. <coughs> Whoa! <coughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! This is the airport. Goodbye! <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur balloon. But George let it go and it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Uh, balloon. Look, Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Hooray! Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> 
George, don't let go of your balloon again. I know. We'll tie the string to your wrist, George. What a good idea. <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. Everyone loves George's dinosaur balloon. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow like this. Oh. oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Whose shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever! It must be a giant! <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look! Our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Pepper. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> my turn. Pepper has made a spider. My name is Mr. Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that, George? Dinosaur. Brrr. George <laughs> has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> wow! It's a big dinosaur. Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! That is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Granny Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! 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 Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> Broom 
has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur -y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. <gasps> Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <laughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <laughs> what a lovely holiday. Yes, I have never felt so relaxed. Ah, hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Peppa to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie, but she's flying home now. Flying high. In the sky, flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Peppa's family have arrived home. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Goldie! What has Grandpa done to you? <laughs> um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh, that's my postcard. Hello. Oh. It's only Susie. I've really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, ho! We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> the island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boats. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, here's some bread, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Come in, birds. One, two, and three. Your time is up. One, two, and three. That's us. Let's see who can get back first. We'll have a race. Yes! Pedal faster, Daddy. I'm not sure I can pedal much faster. Oh, Daddy Pig. I'll do the pedalling. Quick on, Mummy. This is quite hard work, isn't it? Aha! We'll be carried back by the wind, Danny. Oh. What is it? The wind has stopped. Without any wind, the sailing boat cannot go. We'll just have to wait for the wind to pick up again. How long will that take? I don't know. It could be weeks. Can't we use the engine? No, oh, you don't have engines on sailing boats, Danny. Oh. The sailing boat does have an engine. Full sail! <laughs> Emily and her family are in the lead. Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh. We're going to win the race! <laughs> <laughs> Here come Danny and Captain Dog. Hooray! We win! <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. Next time we'll take a sailing boat. Yes. Sailing boats have engines on them. Daddy? See you later, Danny. I've decided to sail around the world again. But you said you were going to stay home. Oh, yes. I'm not a sailor anymore. But I do love boating on the lake. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear. My poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. This is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr. Wolf. Hello, Mr. Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well. Catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello. Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. This is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play! This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! The little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in! Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in! Oh no, I'm stuck too! Help! Hello! 
Mr. Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr. Elephant, help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi. We're, We're stuck. stuck! Ho, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. I'm sure. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. <laughs> Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! Mm. The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified Digger Drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road! Digger! Digger! Mr Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK, now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Peppa and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. <laughs> Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa. I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. <laughs> I can reach it. <laughs> I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Peppa, 
Oliver, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. <laughs> I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. <laughs> oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> Oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, uh, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> right, are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> that is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh! We thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. Carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. 
Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, -ho! lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. <laughs> Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> How can you work in the sea? With this submarine. Wow! Do you want a ride? Yes, please! Okay, hop in! <laughs> wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon, all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look! A little bridge! Just like in your fish tank! Oh, 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 you're right, Pepper. It is quite like the fish tank here. Except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins! Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy? Everything is the same as the fish tank. Had a little lamb. Oh, yes. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Pepper. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <clears throat> hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons and cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because
Because it bit my finger so Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right 